M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Quasheng Dock that you can see on the left, it's a program that connects to your UV5, UV K6 using the existing USB cable and you can completely control the screen. It's got an analyzer and a waterfall, other items, channel edit screen, you can actually program it. Now, it does not, you won't hear audio when it's connected because you've plugged the cable, your USB cable into it. So you need to make a cable and Nick, the developer, has created uh, uh, some diagrams here of the cable. So I thought I'd just quickly go through what I think you'll need. It is described in this, you know, in, in, in the GitHub that Nick has provided, which I will link in on this page here. Just look in the description. So if you look on the right hand side, we'll start off with some of the items that I think you need. This, the first one you can see on the right hand side is a 3.5 mil to, um, to these, you know, is it male to female? That's one item you will need. That's in, I found that one in Amazon on eBay. I found this one, which is 2.5 mil uh, as well. So that's your two splitter cables. A microphone, a Retivis style microphone, normally got one lying around. You're gonna need these twin pins because that's how you're gonna transmit as well. And there's the USB cable that you're already using to connect this whole program anyway. If you haven't got one, then you'll need another one. So these are the bits I feel you need. Now looking over at, at the instructions here. Now I haven't got them here, the parts here yet, but you, you're basically connecting if you look at the side of the radio. The 2.5 mil is the top jack hole, and then the 3.5 is in the bottom jack hole. And once you've done that, if you go down to this sketch that we see here, so you've got the 2.5 at the top on the left, 3.5, and then you're starting to configure. Now this big long black box at the bottom here that's going up to the PC, that's basically your your Bofun cable. Let me just show you that. That's uh, Let's get it right, move this out of the way. So many things to click here. Let's find your Bofun cable. There it is there, that's your Bofun cable. So this long section here is that. The other long section is your microphone. Go to the microphone. And then you've got your connectors going to the twin pins at the bottom here that you can see. And you can see that they're going up and then going back to the radio. So it's, it's like a, I don't know, a three-way connection but you're, you've got how many connectors have you got you've got two on the radio two on the pc and then two on each on the microphone and the usb cable so yeah you're gonna have to just sort of piece it all together you know it's like it seems very confusing but once you do one 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 or two once you connect one or two items i think i find with these items you've eliminated all the other cables now you do need to run uh, 47k is it a resistor? Yeah, here yeah. on the radio side, connect a 47K resistor to the audio wire uh, for it to work here. Now, I would take that advice because you don't want to blow anything. So you'll find them on Amazon. There you go. And I'll put a link in for that as well. Knowing me, I've probably got five packs of these because whenever I need a resistor, I just end up buying one. Because <laughs> by the time I search through all my boxes, uh, for the sake of it looks in this case two pound, I just buy one and then I've got it, yeah. So I hope this sort of helps you piece it together. I'm gonna to put in all the instructions for you as well. Thanks, you know, they're not from me, they're from the developer, Nick Shaw, Quan Sheng Doc. And this is an evolving project that is working with Exuma. It works with the existing firmware that comes with the radio. I'm just gonna fire it up again so you can see it. Let's get the analyzer on, it always looks nice. It also works with Exuma, so there's links for which either firmware you'd like to work, and there is a, a, a specially made firmware. You can't really see the difference in the firmware, but there are tweaks been made so that this all works. And there's no connect button. You connect it, you find your, you right click device manager, and you find your port in a normal way, COM34 I am there, and you fire up the software with a little shortcut here, and it just connects. And even if you don't want to listen, if you can't listen because right now we've got no, we haven't made the cable, you can still do your programming. You know, you can still program your channels. Uh, it's a lot quicker than digging out the software, I think. Uh, as you can see here, just double, you can read from the radio, which we'll do now. Just reading now. 
Uh, it probably won't let me read because I'm in... Oh, it did read, did it? Oh, I'm going too fast. Yeah, I'm being impatient. Let's do read again. I'm not sure if it lets you read when you're running Spectrum, that's all. We'll give that a minute and then we'll end the video. So I put, what I'm going to do is put all the links in there. Yeah, there it is there and it's found found something they all seem to be blank i hope i didn't wipe my radio uh, um all the sort of purchasey type links things i'll put in the description just to help you find things and if anyone wants to correct me on anything that's fine i'm sort of getting myself ready for making the cable thanks for watching my youtube channel please like and subscribe seven three and thanks uh, very much to nick shaw uh for creating this software bye for now